Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Well, I've got two adult daughters, and one of which is now a junior at the University of Connecticut, and she makes stuff like these in art class. Little little mugs, baby heads on them. <laughs> cool stuff. That has nothing to do with this video whatsoever. You know, I've been involved in discussions back and forth with various people, uh, and we've been talking about th things like the you know, I guess like gaming styles, big model, all that stuff, you know, I'm not the only one bringing up the subject. So we're kind of rehashing it a little bit. Um, but, but you know, stuff's being generated. It's cool. You know, and some people say, oh, we're rehashing old ideas. And I say, the heck with it. You know, we're kind of just stirring up stirring up more discussion, which is cool. But one of the things that's that comes up every once in a while is, is you know, a bunch of us are designing games or are messing around with designing games or, or that sort of thing. And, you know... So here's a serious question for me. I'm not really coming to a conclusion with this so much as just kind of asking, you know, what's your opinion? Uh, and it may have kind of given you like a smidgen of mine or where I'm standing right now. But, you know, the, the, the questions have come up about things like game design and, you know, how do you get design your game? Or like if you create a campaign world, you know, how do you create that? Um, what kind of game master are you going to be? And when I say that, I mean, are you going to follow your own gut? Or are you going to kind of, acquiesce is the wrong word, but kind of gauge your players, have that session zero, and figure it, figure out what it is that they want, and then try to create that for them. And at what point does compromise become settling, both as a player and a game master? At what point, you know, have you made this decision that a game is better than no game, and you're willing to kind of uh, put on the back burner, like how you really want to play? These are questions you know, that I have to answer for myself, and I'd like to get your feedback on like how you answer them for yourself. I would say my gut level reaction is you know, if you're designing a game, design the game that you want, that you would want to play, you know, with the rule system and you know, whatever else that's in it, the feel, the genre uh, that you would want to play, that appeals to you. I would think designing a campaign world, I'm designing the one, for the most part, that like, I would want to play in, that I would find interesting. And when it comes right down to, you know, game mastering style, you know, I, I remember, I think it was Matthew Colville said in one of his videos and people, you know, inevitably people will say, oh, there's, our GM isn't doing this or that. And he said, and I, I'm sure he stole the quote from somebody else. You are the game master that your group needs. So for me, a lot of times, you know, when I'm a game master, I try to be the game master that I would want to play under, if that makes any sense. And I'm not sure if that's too much hubris on my part or whether as I'm getting older, I'm not willing to settle as much. And I don't know, when does, when does settling become lack of compromise or, or, you know, or compromise? When does being a, a true to your beliefs become a lack of compromise? When am I being a jerk or not being realistic or not accepting the situation for what it is in terms of who I've got available to play with me? So what's your take on all that? These are things I'd like to hear about. The end.